And like Joey said, we're working on chaining our escapes here. Because one escape usually isn't going to work. Right? Especially the better you get, you start recognizing what their options are, the less likely a single option is going to work. Right? But the principles are the same. I still need my frames. I still need to anchor to them. Right? And then I react to what he does. So when he sits through, right? He's got my arm. I got to get it back. I make that space. Right? I start to shrimp. He starts to come back up on top of me. I'm going to keep that same space we just did to throw our hips up and spin. But this time I'm just going to step over his head and take the arm. All right? So my hips come up. I connect my legs. I hook my leg on the back of his head. Heel down, toes up. Now that arm's in front of me. All right? I'm not spinning all the way through this time. I'm just getting enough space to get my knees in there and hook the head. Cool? All right? Frame, frame. He sits through. I strip. He comes back up on top of me. Lift, right? I've got to have his weight over my chest and over my head or my hips won't come up. Knee inserts, pushing on the neck. Lift, right? As that hand comes away from his chest, I should be able to catch it two fingers. Hit the yell. Cool? It hits real quick, so be nice. One, two, three.